So, you know, Newton gave scientists that belief that maybe, yeah, if we know the equations, we know how the universe is set up, then everything is just deterministic. It just follows from the mathematics. Um, so Newton gave uh, scientists post-Newton that belief that maybe we can know the future um, before it becomes the present. Um, Laplace certainly talked about that. We have this thing, Laplace's demon, um, which kind of says, yeah, well, it, it just, if you know the universe, you'll know everything into the future. Well, if Newton is my hero, then this guy here is my nemesis in this story. The, the, this is Henri Poincaré, who discovered the mathematics of chaos theory at the beginning of the 20th century. And he explained how even if you do have the equations and you have a very good description how the thing is set up, just a very small error can cause your predictions to be completely um, untenable and something completely different can happen. And this can control just very simple systems, which uh, you have the equations for, um, can give rise to incredibly complex behavior. And one of my favorite examples is um, a pendulum. So actually, a pendulum is usually so predictable, we use it to keep track of time. Um, uh, but this is a slightly different pendulum I've got here. It's um, called a double pendulum. So it's got um, two pieces of metal jointed together um, a little bit like a leg. Um, so the geometry, mathematics of this, is, is very simple to describe these two pieces of metal. Um, the physics which controls how this will fall is also not that complicated, but being able to use that to predict the behavior of this thing is almost impossible. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that. And I think the fact that you're laughing is a perfect example of the fact that this is unpredictable. Laughter is a response to, whoa, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, uh, but the real challenge of chaos theory that uh, Poincaré raised is, OK, that was very complex behavior, but can I repeat the exact same behavior? And actually, I have a little notch here, and I try and start the pendulum off um, in exactly the same place. So let's see whether, if, if you can remember what it did before, is it going to do, <laughs> whoa. That's already doing something completely different. I mean, it's still quite funky, but um, uh, okay. And then, then it seems to, to, this is my favorite desktop toy. I can play with this for absolutely hours. So if you'll indulge me, I'm just going to do one more because it's just like, <laughs> like, whoa. Oh, it's, whoa. I mean, where did that come from? Unbelievable. Whoa. Give it a round of applause. That's a. Oh. <laughs> So this is the challenge of chaos theory, is actually just all, I mean, very complex behavior, but it's being able to repeat that behavior.